Hi everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of What's on the Shelf. My name is Miss Allie, and I am the Early Literacy Librarian here at the Racine Public Library. And as always, I also have along with me my very good friend, Hubert the Hippo. Hubert and I know you guys read many, many great books. One of them might have even been this one. And this one is called Froggy Goes to School by Jonathan London. And this one is a traditional froggy story, but in this one he wakes up, it's the first day of school, and oh no, he's late for the bus! So he makes it to the bus and he realizes everyone's laughing at him when all of a sudden he realized he never got dressed. But it's okay because it was all a dream, so he wakes up and has time to get dressed. He's a little bit nervous, but at the end of the day, mom and dad get him to school and he shows just how easy it is to have a great day on the first day of school. So Hubert and I thought we would share with you some other great titles. And our first one that we're going to share with you today is called How to Get Your Octopus to School by Becky Sharnhorst. This one is all about a very worried little octopus who's a little bit nervous about their first day of school. So it tells us just exactly how we can get them ready to go from picking out their favorite outfits to what they should have for breakfast, to finding them in their toys and to any way they can get them to school. And just when octopus gets there, they realize what a great day they could be having. But don't worry, there's one last big hug before they have to separate and go on their own ways. Another story that Hubert and I thought you might like is called We Don't Eat Our Classmates by Ryan T. Higgins. This one is all about Penelope, who's a little nervous for her first day of school. And because she's nervous, she might happen to somewhat eat all of her classmates which her teacher tells her to promptly spit them out, but then she's a little bit nervous because she doesn't want to do that again. She's not making friends, but when she gets nervous, she just happens to eat her friends maybe once or twice more. Um, until a class pet shows her just how it feels to be eaten and how they don't necessarily appreciate it. So Penelope learns to be better, and because of not eating her classmates, she even learns how to make some new friends. So those are some books Hubert and I thought we would like to share with you this week. If there's any other books you might be interested, feel free to come down to the Racine Public Library and we will be happy to help you find them as well as any of these ones that you might be interested in. So that's what we have for you and we look forward to seeing you next time on What's on the Shelf.